my channel if you're new. Hi, hello, my name is Kim and I go by Kimber Kiss on YouTube. I still am sick, bear with me. I have a lot of collaborations coming, but I'm not gonna be able to do any of them until I'm feeling 100% better. But for now, I'm sending in readings as I can and as I'm feeling like I can breathe. So yeah, we're gonna do a twin flame reading today just to get further clarity for you guys, whoever's watching, messages from your divine masculines, divine feminine, and just see what else comes through. We have the world that was stuck in the box. In the last few readings, we've had a card that's been stuck in the box. Oh, what else do we have here? Another message. We have the magician, but it's in the reverse. Mm, okay, let's see. Now these deck of cards, the Sexual Magic Tarot, if you're offended by nudity by any means, please click off this. Um, but this deck is amazing. I love it. However, the cards, the tarot cards especially, do have different meanings. I do read tarot with my intuition, with my guides in a multidimensional fashion to where they change as multidimensional as the universe is, do their meanings change. And that's how I've always read cards and how I'll continue doing so. And I just see what comes through. If you guys were wanting just further clarity altogether, my last two readings, both the Galactic Collective reading and the last Twin Flame reading that I did on my channel, they both have extended readings with some hidden gems in there. So if you guys were looking for even further clarity, my readings are considered timeless. And if you're drawn to the extended versions, definitely check them out. They're listed in the description box below those readings and they're up on my Etsy <clears throat> for I think like $9 or something. So the Twin Flame one is a half hour. I go into more signs and messages for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And then the Galactic one, I believe is about 15 minutes. So yeah, definitely check them out. I'll leave them in the top of this description box below as well if that's calling to you or you're like, huh, I want to check and see what that is. There may be messages for you. So. What messages can I get? I'm being told to draw some regular tarot. This is what I like to call the rainbow tarot, but they're actually, um, it's actually the trip and wait tarot by an artist. This card wants to come out. Oh, the genie in the reverse. Like Ten of cups, right? No, it's the nine of cups. Oh, you're figuring out something for your path for sure, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Weighing options, the sun in the reverse. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's pull a couple romance cards. This one flew out on top of all these cards. Finances and career in the reverse. I believe we did get this for the last reading. So your finances might be a factor right now in your love life. It could be affecting it either negatively or positively. Take it how you will. But because it's in the reverse, I feel like there are some things you guys need to get in order. You need to make the effort. And children could also be a factor because we have make the effort. We have children. We have keep an open mind. So let's shuffle these puppies. Clear the energies. Hope everyone's doing very, very well. If you haven't given this a like, please do so. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I'm so excited to have all of you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new watching this, definitely consider subscribing. Yeah, children, this person's worth waiting for, but it's in the reverse. So you feel like it's not worth the effort, basically, because of the children factor. But it's also letting you know that divine timing is at play here. Divine timing is definitely at play here with this dynamic. Now remember these messages may not resonate for all of you as this is a general reading, but my readings are considered timeless. So definitely scroll down if this one doesn't, you know, spark any lights with inside of you or spark any um, resonance. Definitely check out the titles below and just see which one you're drawn to because each one is considered timeless. So whichever one you're drawn to will hold the messages that you're needing to hear at this time. You deserve love. This is self-love. You are lovable. Yeah. 
So with this full moon, I believe it's in Leo, on the 28th of January, it's going to bring up a lot of things to the surface. People are going to start acting a little off and crazy, um, as you all know, with the full moon. But also, it's it's like a, it's almost like a huge focus now on self-love is what's been provided to me as an energy source within the last couple of days. It's just come through very, very strongly. Spirit has been very, very loud with this message. Like you deserve love, self-love and like having the focus on me, having everything having to do with myself. And I feel like the collective, because I pick up a lot for the collective, you guys are experiencing this focus back onto yourselves as well. So that's a beautiful energy. That's a beautiful focus. And I highly recommend you doing some rituals with this moon, releasing things, writing down things that you don't want in your mental patterns or in your frequency or in your aura anymore. Rip it up, burn it up safely, and then write out a list of intentions of things that you do want to incorporate this next coming month. And of course, set the bar higher than what you usually would, and then let it go. Like, let it go from your mind and just see what manifests. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful thing. And um, don't doubt your powers with manifestation either, because I feel like with this magician in reverse, a lot of you have been doubting yourselves or doubting your powers. And that's just because you haven't been focusing on yourselves enough. And it's really calling the focus back to you. But let's see what we got for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I, I'm getting definitely like a Pisces energy. I'm getting a Taurus energy, I'm getting a Capricorn energy, and I'm also getting like Cancer Scorpio. And I'm also getting an air sign. So Gemini. Yeah, I'm getting Gemini and um, Aries. Aries? No, I'm getting Gemini and Libra. <laughs> okay, so what else? Those are the, the signs that I'm getting right now. It doesn't have to be. I am going to be pulling signs here in a second. So there won't be an extended for this one. Unfortunately, today I only have limited time to film. So the world, yeah. The world being in the upright, this is like the ultimate epitome of what you guys are looking to manifest into your lives on both sides. So both of you want this, both divine feminine, divine masculine. You just want this harmonious relationship. But there has to be emotions. There has to be emotions that are opened up and expressed. And you can't be holding back because I feel like this person, if you look at him, he's very guarded. He's holding back. He's got like his sword up and his magic wand. So he's holding back his magic from this person. So this divine masculine could be holding back his emotions, his thoughts, his feelings, his magic, um, his passions, things like that. And these are important things to express in any kind of dynamic. So this is something that he's working on Um being able to do and this could also be you as well this could be the divine feminine this could be you guys as well or masculine it, it, it however it resonates right so if you've been holding back your magic and you've been kind of blocking yourself this is time to like really set that focus again like I said back on you and start writing down your priorities and what it is that you want to manifest and start putting action into those things no more holding back no more doubting yourself no more holding yourself back you're a powerful magician. It's really important that you don't do that. So I feel like with this card, I feel like the energies have been very back and forth. Back and forth. One gives, one takes. One gives, one takes. One t goes into the conversation, one disappears. One goes into the conversation, one disappears. And it's like this back and forth. But ultimately, you guys do want to, you know, establish some sort of relationship. But it's like really difficult at this time because it's it's like both of you aren't uh, fully opening up and it's really important that you open up, both of you. It's not just one or the other, it takes two, right? There's a completion of some sort. I, I feel like you guys could be leaving some things behind. Again, this could be a relationship, this could be a person, this could be um, a situation, a living situation, this could just be the way that you've been acting lately. Maybe you've been lazy lately and now you're ready to take action. And you have to understand that you guys are the master manifestors because with the 11 in the reverse, I really feel like you guys are really doubting your magic at this time. But I feel like the focus is going to start coming back in where it's focused on you. You're going to start journaling. You're going to start really, like really, really cutting things out. And really, um, you're going to be receiving a lot of information about yourselves that are the keys 
to you moving forward. I see two keys here. I see two keys, which makes me feel like both of you are very knowledgeable, both divine masculine, divine feminine. You're definitely here to help one another in some way, shape, or form. There are lessons here to learn, but it's important that you put in the effort to learn those lessons and acknowledge them. So you acknowledge them by writing them down. You acknowledge them by understanding and recognizing what the lessons are. And also you're here to unlock things for each other and to really be like a support system to one another with the wisdom that you each hold within each of your Akash. So that's another message that I'm getting. Um, yeah, with this moon, they're instead of thinking, oh, my wishes will never come true. I'm not going to make any. They want you to make nine wishes, guys, nine wishes. Don't doubt these wishes. Do not doubt these. Make sure you're writing them down and make sure you're putting them away somewhere where you'll forget about them. Don't let them, you know, replay in your mind, whatever these wishes are, goals, uh, manifestations, projects, accomplishments, whatever the case may be. You do not want to keep them playing in your mind because then you're going to be creating resistance around that. So they're really wanting you to write down nine wishes with this moon coming up on the 28th, which is tomorrow, and then put them away and and um, forget about them. Now with the two of pentacles, I do see you guys weighing your options here um, between two different things that you could be going towards this could be projects as well this doesn't have to be people this could be places this could be ideas this could be projects um but they have to do with your finances okay so i do see you guys weighing two uh, very distinct different options on what you're looking to create they're really wanting you i i keep hearing to finish a project like whatever project you started they're like spirit is really wanting you to finish that project before you start weighing these two options there's an importance here with a project that you started or something that you started and they're really wanting you to accomplish this. This is really important before you start weighing your options here because they want you to get, you know, what it is that you started grounded because un unless you do, you're going to be, you know, that's going to be in the back of your mind this entire time. So it's really important that you focus on getting that done, especially with this moon energy. It's going to help kind of like amp it up forward even a couple of days after the moon. We have the sun in reverse. So <sighs> I feel like you guys might feel a little disconnected from spirit right now, either divine masculine, divine feminine. And it's asking you to like switch your focus back onto you again, switch your focus back onto spirit. It's really important. Um, they want you to start researching some things. Where's that book? Here. They want you to start researching some things outside of your comfort zone or outside of what you would normally research when it comes to either a different religion or a different spirituality practice or perhaps mantras, things like that. They keep saying mantras, mantras, mantras. There is an amazing mantra for abundance. It's called Shreem Brzee and it's by um, the Hindus who actually, you know, came about this uh, mantra and it works very, very well. And with this finances being the main focus here, being in the reverse, it's calling you back to things that you used to do that work for you before having to do with your connection to spirituality or you just sitting there in silence channeling the divine and receiving what it is that you need to hear and then taking the action steps towards that as it's very, very important and it'll bring your energy back into focus, okay? So the focus is on you right now. The focus is on you. We're shining the light on things that, and writing them down, things that haven't been working for you or things that you're looking to change or focuses um, that really didn't matter in the bigger scheme of things. And you're putting the focus back onto like the bigger picture. And I feel like this is really important for both of you right now, um, as you both deserve love. And don't worry because whatever is meant to be, like it's coming in divine timing because it's going to be worth waiting for, okay? And if you have, you know, families or children, like it's letting you know that, yes, it's important to take care of them. It's important to put your focus on them right now. And it's important to put your focus on yourself. And don't be afraid to ask for help either. I just want to see what other messages I'm getting here. And then we'll pull messages from the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine for right now. Okay, 
this card flew out soulmate okay so see they're letting you know this person is your soulmate okay so yes this is your soulmate yes this is your soulmate and you deserve love so this is like letting me know that yes you yourself are your own soulmate but this person whoever this is that you're watching this reading for they are your soulmate and you saw how it flew out too like that was very distinctly saying yes this is your soulmate let's get one more tarot card here sorry i have like pieces of paper everywhere because i i myself have been um writing things down and trying to get organized with my projects and ideas and it's something I'm just going to be doing more and more, I feel, because it feels really good to do. <laughs> uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse, Ace of Swords in the upright. Okay, so I feel like um, the Divine Feminine is really transforming right now. She's really, you know, she's manifesting what it is that she wants, and she's transforming thoughts and things. And... So um, this, this is just letting you know to have some patience with the Divine Feminine if you're watching for the Divine Feminine because she's in her cocoon right now and she's transforming and she's about to blossom into this butterfly going towards the things that she was always meant to do and she really needs all the support that she can have right now but the focus is mainly on her and um but she is worth waiting for okay so it's not like okay uh lost cause situation where this person isn't gonna find out what it is they're truly meant to do or this person's not gonna come to the realization about this relationship it's, this is all a reason why this is happening is because this relationship has sparked something with inside of the divine feminine to make her feel that she is worthy enough to make her feel inspired to make her feel like she wants to transform into this ultimate self that she's always known she was okay and she's recognizing this and this could be the divine masculine as well this could be the divine masculine as well this could be both of you okay and then I think you're really bringing focus back to the family at this time and yourself and also you're really um wow you're exploding through your own creativity so your creative I, your creative ideas your creative projects um all these creative things that are really worth manifesting you're making them happen it's like you're you're taking back your throne or you're taking back your crown in a sense and you're crowning yourself and you're activating your crown and you're activating all your chakras especially the sacral and you're really getting in deep with what it is that you want to create because you know innately that there's so much more and there's such a bigger picture to what you want to create perhaps this is even creating children maybe you and your partner are you know thinking about having kids things like that or um, planning on it um, it doesn't have to be like i said take what resonates but i'm also feeling like maybe your creative passion could be having to do something with working with children that could be awesome um, embracing your inner child healing your inner child at this time but I really feel like this is kind of like embracing your own inner child, getting back to the things that you love to do as a kid or feeling inspired by things that you used to do and then bringing them into a more um, creative, more powerful, more mature creation that you're working on now. So very, very exciting. So I'm going to pull um, a couple of messages and signs and then that will complete the reading. And like, don't be afraid to spoil yourselves right now. That's another message that they just told me. Yeah, right on the top, we have the child healing or trauma. And I think this came out for the last reading, if I'm not mistaken. You have the child healing or trauma card. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clear these energies. We're going to pull signs and then further messages. So let's see what signs... For those who are watching right now, Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, what signs are they? What signs are your persons, your peoples? Taurus upon splitting the deck. Cancer upon splitting the deck. You guys wanted personal readings with me i'm offering personal love readings i'm offering my most popular starseed origins readings still 
And I am offering just personal readings in general. So if you want to check it out, the information will be in the description box below, along with those extended readings from the last two readings, like I mentioned. And I also have timeless readings on there. If you guys were just looking for general messages and you're drawn to any of those timeless readings, I highly recommend those. They're very powerful. There's a lot of aha moments just like waiting to be cracked open with those. And a lot of people come back to me just in awe, like, wow, how did you know? Like, it felt like that was my reading. And it's because your higher self knows, your soul knows, and always trusts what you're drawn to and what you're guided to and feeling the call to look into. So let's see. Aries could be an Aries. Libra, Aquarius, Virgo. So Libra, we have Aquarius, or they could also be Virgo. This could also be you, or they could have Libra, Aquarius, Virgo in their chart, or you could, or any of those signs. It doesn't have to be all of them. Let's pull a couple more here, please, Spirit. Sagittarius, okay. Libra, Libra, we have all air signs here, all air signs. So this is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I was getting that in the beginning. I was getting all the air signs. And I forgot the third one, which is the most important, which is the age we're in, this Aquarius. I always think of, I, for some reason, my brain always thinks Aquarius the water bearer. I always think like Aquarius the holding the big thing of water. And then I always think water sign, but I know better. <laughs> Taurus again. So we have Tor. Oh no. We did have Taurus upon splitting the deck. So Taurus did come out. We have master number 77 here. That might be of an importance to you. We also have the number 11. Okay, so we have Aries. Aries. We have Leo. Okay, could be a Leo. And we also have Capricorn. And they're saying those are the signs. If I didn't say your person's sign, do not worry, this could also be their rising sign or they could just have some of these elements in their chart. And don't fret if their sign didn't come out because it's whoever you're thinking about is what the messages are here for you. So don't ever feel doubt when it comes to that. So I always try to reiterate that. There's definitely all air signs here though. And two Libras, like a huge emphasis on Libra and Aquarius, so. Okay, so we have the child healing or trauma. That could be a factor. I'm going to clear the energies here and just see what other messages your divine masculine, divine feminine has for you. I feel like I know you. I feel like this was a very first innate um, feeling or remembrance or familiarity. I feel like one is really hurting right now. Maybe both. Um, there's something you don't know. This card, I swear to God, has come out for every single reading, twin flame reading that I've done thus far. <laughs> there's something you don't know. And I feel like both of you need to open up and express something here. Um, could be anything, really. I'm healing things. Yeah, this person's healing things. You're healing things. Um, one or the other or both. Okay, so definitely child healing, trauma healing, 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 healing. And this gets really emphasized during the time of the uh, full moon. So don't feel bad if a lot of things start getting crazy or start coming to the surface. This is normal and it will all be resolved. I always like the quote that I wanted to get tattooed here on my wrist, but I never did. Uh, but it says, this too shall pass. So this too shall pass. So whatever it is you guys are going through within your dynamic, know that this too will pass. It's always a great um, quote, I, I think. <clears throat> Any other messages? I'm confused. This person's confused right now. And I think it's because they feel like they know you. This is very confusing to them as this fell out right next to that. So they're really confused about why they feel like they know you so well. I trust you. This person really trusts you. You trust them. Um, so I feel like it's a mutual trust. I feel like, but there's something you don't know. So there's something you don't know, but they trust you. So I feel like either you'll be telling them or they'll be telling you, or maybe something will be brought to light, or it, it could be something super small and silly. Um, it could be anything, really. 
working on myself to work towards you. Yeah, so they're really, you know, they're working on themselves right now so they can work towards you or just because they need more healing, they need more time, they need more um, space to really get their stuff in order, especially their finances. Give me a sign. Okay, so I feel like you guys communicate in signs and like synchronicities. I feel like this is the way you guys really, really communicate. It's a very strong bond. It's a very strong thing. So give me a sign. This is huge, you guys. This is huge. So give me a sign. So I feel like you guys communicate with like your names um, or just symbols or animals or anything really. So soulmate just flipped up again. So yes, this is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You can't rush it. I just saw, I, it just got my attention. Can't rush it. You can't rush this, you guys. There's healing that needs to be done. There is a lot that needs to be rearranged here. We need time apart. Yeah, see, we need time apart. You guys need time apart right now. You could be feeling confused because this person may have backed off or they could be feeling confused because you backed off. But I feel like you both know each other well enough to understand that you both just need some time. And this is okay. I knew from the time I saw you. Yeah, there's something you don't know. I trust you and I knew from the time I saw you. And don't worry, guys. I know these cards are kind of <laughs> crazy but I have uh, three decks that I made myself having to do with twin flame messages and actually um, those should be coming like within the next week or so so I'm really excited to use this for my twin flame readings and they're going to be very in depth and I made them just to my liking I think you guys are going to absolutely love the messages that are on the cards because they make a lot of sense um it says please don't hate me so we need time apart please don't hate me but I really can't think straight so this is why you guys need time apart because you both need time to think straight. You both need time to like really trust yourselves and get to that place where you're both feeling very, very fulfilled um, because there's a lot of healing that needs to be done here. And I know this kind of comes through a lot, but they also want you to know that everything you do is sexy to them. Okay, so that's another message they wanted you to know. So that does complete the reading, Twin Flames, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines. I love you guys so much. Um, definitely subscribe if you have not already. I'm really trying to hit um, 5,000 subscribers on my channel because I've been working really, really hard and I feel like I deserve it and I just want to throw that out there. So if there's anyone you know that's going through a twin flame dynamic that could really use the messages in this reading, please do consider sharing this reading with them. Share it on your community tabs. Also, that really helps out my channel. Give this a like and leave a comment below letting me know how it resonated so I can gear and gauge my readings to help suit your needs within the upcoming Coming videos. Check out my Etsy shop below where I offer all my personal readings, healings, light language meditations, those kinds of things. And thank you so much for watching. Don't worry, all will be well. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.